All right, guys, let's check out another Oris. Big thanks to Oris for sending over a few watches. And this one was one that actually kind of surprised me, how comfortable it is on wrist and how much I actually enjoyed wearing it. I did wear it for a full day, and I have to say that it was, uh, it was nice. It is definitely something that is not what I would normally pick, so it was awesome that they sent it over. Let's go ahead and get this thing running while we're doing that. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. This is the, obviously, Oris, and it's the Art Blakey Limited Edition. Comes with a special certificate and box and everything. Here's the hang tag that comes with it. It's a little worn, as you can see, but comes with a full set. They didn't send the set, so I don't know what else would be in it. But it has a 30-meter water depth rating on it. And it's using the Oris Movement 733, otherwise known as a modified Salida SW200. The case size on this, I measure it at 38.25 millimeter wide. The lug to lug is a short 44 millimeter. The thickness, including this boxed domed sapphire crystal, is only 11.6 millimeter. You can see it has a really thin mid case. 20 millimeter lug width and a 6 millimeter push pull crown that you can just wind right here and then pull it all the way out and you can adjust the time. There is a no date on this, but it does have the ghost date position, meaning that there is a position there for the date, but it doesn't have the date. Now, the one thing that's kind of weird on this is, and it's a design, a design decision, but it makes it a little weird to read, is the use of this pattern on the dial here it would be like a drum head. And this rim here around it, it would be the rim of the drum and then you'd have the hardware here that holds the rim down holding the head in place on the drum but those are not put at intervals that would make sense for timekeeping so it's a little weird because if you look the indices are the indexes are here so you have that little one up here at the 12 there's one there's two there's three there's four and it throws you off a little bit because these are more dominant on the dial and when you're just trying to get a quick reference for the time, it just throws you off a little bit. So that would be one nick. But because it's a tribute watch to the Art Blakey um, history and everything, he's a jazz drummer. I think he did other instruments too. But the main thing that he did that was influential in the jazz community was basically a school. And it was a... St you, you watch some of the interviews with him and he basically is like, you know, you can go to school and get your diploma. You come with me to get your education. And he would show you the things that he learned because he was self-taught in the music industry. And he's an icon in the jazz community for sure. So anyway, that's about the history of how it's tied in and everything like that. They made a thousand of these. And this is number 129 of a thousand. So they are legitimate uh, limited edition has a very nice leather strap. I have not seen a leather strap done like this. It's very fitting for this watch and very comfortable. And then a nice fold-over clasp system with just two pushers. Very easy to size up. You'll notice on the back of this thing, you have this very cool case back here, which would be like a, a symbol that would be in a drum set. It's all, all hammered up like that or dimpled. And that's how you can get some pretty wild sounds out of those. So that's pretty normal for a drum set to have it look like that. So you can see there, Oris Art Blakey Limited Edition right on there, and then it is numbered 129 of 1,000. That is just a beautiful case back. And then here's a closer look at the dial. You can see it's a little bit different tone of white or silver, I guess, for the drum head versus the rest of the dial, which looks to curve down. I don't know if it's just an illusion of the crystal or if the dial actually curves down as well. And then a very simple hand set there with a little bit of BGW9 loom in the hands and on a couple of the indexes. You're not going to see much loom on this. I will kill the lights at the end so you guys can see the loom, but it's pretty uh, non-inspiring. But here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Shockingly, like I said, a 38 by 44 with this style of leather strap actually was completely wearable for me. I am trending towards the smaller watches now. 
So maybe in the future, I will end up with a smaller watch in the collection. It is nice to try some of these. It kind of makes you realize how versatile a lot of these watches are. Retail price on these are is $2,100. And I will put a link to the Oris website in the description so you can check that out if you want. But let's kill the lights and you guys can see the... I'll even cheat a little bit and charge it. Hit with the UV light there. The loom isn't going to be great, guys. This isn't a watch that you would expect great loom on it. But it does have a little bit of loom. It's just... It's very minimal. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next bid.